Under Article 9 of the Convention on Civil Aviation, each contracting state has the right, for the reasons of military necessity or public safety, to prohibit the aircraft of other states from flying over certain areas of its territory and to establish procedures for the interception of aircraft flying over that territory. Ultimately, the regulations of a state may prescribe the need to investigate and identify an aircraft. Thus, it may become necessary to lead an aircraft of another state away from a particular area or require it to land for security reasons at a designated aerodrome. Adherence to flight plans and maintaining a listening watch on the appropriate air traffic frequencies make the possibility of interception extremely rare. In formulating such policies, states are to recognise that to ensure general safety in the air, any visual identification signals are to be made in accordance with Appendix 1 to Annex 2 of the Chicago Convention. This lays down standard rules for intercepting aircraft and mandates that intercepted aircraft are to comply with a standard set out in the Appendix 2, Section 2 and 3 to Annex 2, interpreting and responding to visual interception signals. If the identity of an aircraft is in doubt, all possible efforts will be made to secure the identification through the appropriate air traffic authorities. As intercepting civil aircraft is potentially hazardous, the intercepting procedure is to be used as a last resort. An intercepted aircraft shall immediately follow the instructions being given by the intercepting aircraft, notify, if possible, the appropriate air traffic service unit, attempt to establish radio communication with the intercepting aircraft or with the appropriate intercept control unit by making a general call on the emergency frequency 121.5 MHz, giving the identity of the intercepted aircraft and the nature of the flight. If this frequency elicits no response, calls should be made on 243 MHz in an attempt to establish contact. If equipped with SSR, then select mode A, code 7700, or any other code that you are instructed to. If radio contact is established with the intercepting aircraft but communication in a common language is not possible, attempts should be made to convey essential information and acknowledgement of instructions by using the phrases and pronunciations shown in the table. It is a requirement of international law that aircraft engaged on international flights must carry the interception tables. Clearly, the intention is that if intercepted, one can refer to the tables.